3D printers are useful for all sorts of things. And I'm gonna show you how it's helping me solve some problems in carding. Thingiverse is a community for sharing 3D printable designs, including designs for carding. Here's the search for OTK, and you can see all the different things that people have posted. This one's an OTK side pod pin. It's what holds the side pod in place underneath this cover on a Tony cart. This is an add-on to an OTK chain guard. On mine, I find the bolts can loosen up over time just from the vibration. And this plate has two indents that match up to the hex-shaped nuts and holds them in place so they don't loosen. If you search for a popular engine like X30, you can usually find printable parts related to that specific engine. There's some pretty good stuff in here for LO206. This pump riser is good for keeping your fuel pump cool and usually sells for around $20 online. You can print it yourself for free and just buy two longer screws from a hardware store. Here's what it looks like mounted on my engine. I also printed this float gauge for the heck of it, although I usually do measure that by hand. I also designed this mount for a catch can. You can buy the white plastic bottle for a few bucks and just drill some holes in it. And it's a very compact and simple solution that works well. There's also this oil fill cap wrench. Sometimes it can be hard to get the fill cap off. And also I've seen them come off on track when they're not tightened hard enough and the oil ends up all over the track. This design takes a 17 millimeter socket, but I don't find it that convenient. So you can edit the design using a tool like Tinkercad. Just to show you an example, here I'm adding a hole in the back. Maybe now you can loosen your fill cap just with a screwdriver instead. I also drive Rotax Max, and there's a lot of parts for that as well. The gear lock is this tiny tool, it's easy to lose, and now you can print as many as you need. If you want to service your carb and take it fully apart, you actually need a thin machine 9mm X socket. I don't have a way to machine a socket to get it thinner, but I can print my own thin walled socket instead. That's just a simple cylinder for the socket and a 9mm hex hole on the inside. Don't forget the quarter inch square on the back that you need to attach your ratchet. And here's how it ended up. You can see how much thinner the socket is. For Rotax, if you use an 11 tooth front sprocket, it's a bit of a pain to change the bushing. You can buy this $50 tool, but it's basically a metal cylinder. Or as you've probably figured out, you can just make one yourself. At some point, I managed to lose one of the pins from my tire scissors. I have two tools, but somehow they take different size pins. No problem. Just take a careful measurement, and we can design a replacement. It's a long cylinder with a circular handle. At some point I thought it'd be nice to have a more gradual tip like the actual metal pin, but I quickly realized I didn't want YouTube to ban my channel. I also had a problem with the wheel weights. If you stick them on the back of your wheels, now you can't use that tire disc. At least, not without knocking the weights off. No problem. 
tire disc is just a big cylinder with a hole in the middle. The only challenge is figuring out how to make a gap for the wheel weights. I decided on a trapezoid, so I used four hexagons to create the gaps I wanted. I spent way too long trying to line them up. And here it is, it fits perfectly in the wheel, works with a new pin, and it fits in the tire scissors as well. Maybe you have a friend who already has a 3D printer, but if you need to buy one, look for a good deal on a used model. At the low end, you might consider something like a Creality Ender 3 for around $100. But if you can afford it, a Solval SV06 is a lot easier for beginners to use at around $200. At the higher end is Prusa, starting at around $400. It's the printer I used for all the prints in this video, and it's very reliable. I've found 3D printers to be a great tool to save money, save time, and solve problems. Feel free to leave any questions below, and please subscribe if you like this type of content.